Hello, and welcome to this marionette tutorial. In this video, we'll guide you through a full production workflow. We'll start by looking at a storyboard and then build out each animation shot by shot. We'll be bringing everything into Maya using the Marionette Maya plugin to create a seamless live link. On top of this, it's important to remember that Marionette runs entirely offline on your local machine. This means you get free, unlimited renders with no cloud credits or limitations, ensuring a professional production workflow with full creative control. With that said, let's get started. Before we start, it is important to set your timeline FPS to match the project you will be importing your animations into. Our project will be in 24 FPS inside Maya. To ensure it matches, I will go to the project menu, open settings, and set my timeline to 24 FPS. This ensures my animation timing will be correct when I export. Looking at the storyboard, our first animation will be a walk cycle. First, we import our walk reference into Marionette. Calibrate it. Now we can see there are some issues with the animation that we will fix. Keep in mind, we don't need the entire animation to be perfect for this, as we'll do a pose-to-pose -pose workflow where we will only use the key poses. This gives us clean animation curves in Maya where we can refine the tempo and style easily. Press Clean Motion. A key pose in animation is a crucial, visually significant frame that defines the starting or ending position of an object or character's movement. For a walk cycle, the key poses look like this. I will now quickly key the key poses. I'll add a pose by pressing K and delete with L. To jump between poses quickly, I'll press the up and down arrow keys. If you want to remove all the keys instantly, you can go into Pose Extraction and click Reset. After I've added the keys, I'll add the foot locks to make sure the feet are stable. Now, as you might have noticed, the character is floating. So to fix it, I'll go into Rig Adjustments, click the ground controller, and move the character down to the ground. That's it. Now I'll proceed to Maya. I make sure my rig is in a T-pose and connect the controllers. Now that the controllers are connected and we are ready to link Marionette and Maya, I make sure both Marionette and Maya are open and click Connect. I'll click Preview in DCC to create a live link to make sure it all looks right, and then copy the animation to the DCC. From there, I will refine the animation in Maya to fit the scene and style. A key part of an efficient workflow is focusing only on the specific body parts you need for a shot. For this next scene, we just need the animation of the hand reaching for the scythe, so we'll only track the hand and finger motion. I'll import the reference video. Because we're only tracking the hand, the framing for the rest of the body isn't critical, as long as the hand itself is clearly visible. In the retargeting window, I'll select only the right hand and right fingers and connect their controllers. Then I'll copy this animation to the DCC without any cleanup. The rest of the body might look twisted, but that doesn't matter since it's off camera. 
For our next sequence, we'll create one full body animation that will be reused across multiple camera angles. The workflow is much the same as the first shot. For this shot, our character will be holding a scythe and will strike it into the ground. Because of this, we need precise control to make sure our timing is correct, so we will use a pose-to-pose -pose workflow again, only using the key poses so we can easily build on top of the animation after with the correct timing. You can use a real prop like a staff when recording for more accurate movements, but for this, we will do it without the prop. First, I'll import the clip. It came in sideways, so to fix this, just click the gear icon and rotate the footage. Now I'll go through and remove the keys I don't need, adding only the main key poses for the action. Next, I'll connect the controllers. Since the character needs to hold the scythe, I'll leave the finger controls turned off. This keeps the finger static, allowing me to manually pose the grip on the weapon later in Maya. And there you have it. You've now seen how to use Marionette for a full production workflow, from importing and cleaning your footage to refining it for your final animation. If you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Be sure to join our Discord community to see the latest updates, get tips, and connect with other creators. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Once in noble battle, I screamed against the silence. Light against the darkness.